Hello friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about the previous year gate question number 3. This question they have asked in the exam gate 96 as well as IES 2014 exam. Okay, IES means Indian Engineering Services Examination. Okay, so gate 96 and IES 2014. Okay, it is a theory question. So let us read the question. Which of the following does not cause permanent damage of an STR? Okay, they have said that does not cause. So please be careful. Which of the following does not cause permanent damage of an STR? Permanent damage of an STR. Okay, and they have given the four options. Okay. So it is very important to note it is given that does not cause does not cause permanent damage does not cause permanent damage permanent damage of SCR or to an SCR okay so first one is the high current first one is the high current right that is the high current okay so if you check when a high current flows through the SCR okay due to the high current the high power loss as we know in any semiconducting device the power loss is equal to i square into r okay so when the high current will flow will be flowing through the device then the power loss will be high okay and due to that high power loss due to the high power loss yes the high heat will be generated and that high heat will cause the permanent damage will cause the permanent damage okay so it will cause the permanent damage of the scr is this clear Due to the high temperature, the high power loss will be taking place and that power loss will be in terms of the heat only, okay. This high current will cause the high power loss in terms of heat, so high heat will be generated and due to that the permanent damage will be, uh, per, there is a possibility of permanent damage of the SCR. The second one is high rate of rise of current, that is nothing but the high di by dt, high di by dt. So if you check, yes, high di by dt, the meaning is if the rate of change of current with respect to time is changing to a very high value right to changing to a very high value okay so as we know in the protection of the scr in the protection of scr we are having the di by dt protection di by dt protection yes for what purpose the di by dt protection is provided yes because if the di by dt is high due to that what will cause there will be the possibility of creation of local hotspots creation of Local hotspots, creation of local hotspots, and these local hotspots, right? Local hot creation of local hotspots means what? In the body of the SCR, there is there will be some spots where the temperature will be high, right? And at the remaining part, yes, the temperature will be lesser compared to that of those hotspots. Okay. So due to these local hotspots, yes, there is a possibility of permanent damage. Okay. So it will cause the permanent damage of the device permanent damage okay permanent damage the third yes third one is the high temperature rise high temperature rise so if you check if the temperature of the device is high yes why the temperature of the device will be high because due to the high current will be flowing okay that is nothing but due to the high power loss okay so due to the high temperature loss high, due to the high temperature rise yes there is a possibility of permanent damage of the device permanent damage of the device okay it is similar to that of high current only next the last one high rate of rise of voltage that is nothing but the high dv by dt so here where the high dv by dt high dv by dt will cause the permanent damage no because if you check in the triggering of the scr we are having the high dv by dt triggering or the dv by dt triggering okay due to the dv by dt or during the dv by dt triggering what will be happening yes if the rate of change of voltage across the device increases to a high value then as initially SR will be in the off state so junction J2 will be acting as a capacitor okay so due to the high dv by dt yes current high current will be flowing through the device yes we are having i a is equal to what cj into dv by dt dv by dt okay so if dv by dt high then ia will be high ia is high indicates the device will be getting in the conduction mode okay so there is a possibility of false triggering due to the high dv by dt there is a possibility of false triggering but whether due to this false triggering our device will be 
getting permanently damaged no right so here no permanent damage no permanent damage be, be careful okay so here due to the high dehumidity yes device is getting triggered okay means we are not interested in turning on of a device but due to the i dv by dt due to the i dv by dt the device there is a possibility that device is device may trigger okay that is nothing but the false triggering okay and due to this triggering yes means triggering means what device is simply turning on okay so it is not like the device is getting permanently damaged okay so out of these four if you check yes the first one is causing permanent damage second one is causing permanent damage third one is causing permanent damage and the fourth one it is not causing the permanent damage okay so they have what they have written it as as for does not cause permanent damage so correct option is option d option d is the correct option okay so this question they have asked in the exam gate 96 and ies 2014 examination okay in the next video we are going to discuss about previous year gate question number 4 thank you